Hello everyone, welcome to in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to see the next problem on type 2. This is our question. So if you see, this equation is of the form f of d into y equal to x, where x is this part. But in type 2, we need everything in terms of sin ax plus b. We do not want this as square term. So here what we are going to do, we are going to substitute as cos 2a. We know the formula of cos 2a is nothing but 1 minus 2 sin square a. So if I take this part here and cos 2a here, so it will become 2 sin square a equal to 1 minus cos of 2a. And sin square a will now become 1 minus cos of 2a upon 2. So if you see what I have done, this equation is similar to this. Here we have a equal to x by 2. So we are going to apply the same formula. So sin square a can be replaced by 1 minus cos of 2 into a. a in our case is x by 2 upon 2 plus e raised to x. So this part will become half. I am taking 2 here. Then this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled and it will become cos x upon 2 plus e raised to x. So if you see this problem is a combination of type 1 and type 2. How? e raised to x belongs to type 1 and half we can write as e raised to 0 x upon 2 minus cos x upon 2. And this part will remain as it is. So if you see this is for a type 1 and this is for a type 2. So the solution for this equation is nothing but y equal to yc plus yp. So first we will find what is yc and yc remains the same. That is for yc we will consider an auxiliary equation and auxiliary equation is nothing but f of d equal to 0. What is f of d? In our case f of d is d minus 1 the whole square into d square plus 1 the whole square. So f of d is d minus 1 the whole square into d square plus 1 the whole square equal to 0. So now when we substitute d minus 1 square equal to 0 we got two roots that is d minus 1 and d minus 1 equal to 0. So d equal to 1 is one root and d equal to 1 is another root. So here the roots are real and repeated. Remember this why I am writing this. It makes sense when we write the equation of yc. Similarly, when we put this equal to 0, d square plus 1, the whole square equal to 0 is nothing but d square plus 1 into d square plus 1 equal to 0. When we put this individual equal to 0, we will get d equal to plus minus i and again d equal to plus minus i. So from this two, roots are complex and repeated twice. So for real roots, our yc is nothing but c1 e raised to m1x plus c2 e raised to m2x and so on. This is for real roots and distinct roots. That is each root is different. But here the roots are repeated. So d equal to one is repeated twice. Then this equation will become c1 plus c2 into x and this whole bracket into e raised to m1 x where m1 is the repeated root. So our yc for this part will become c1 plus c2 into x because the roots are repeated twice therefore we multiply 1 c by x e raised to m1 m1 in our case is 1 into x and for complex part here the alpha is equal to 0 and beta is equal to 1. Similarly here the roots are repeated twice when the roots are not repeated for non-repeating roots, our yc was supposed to be e raised to alpha x c1 cos of beta x plus c2 sin of beta x. Okay, this we have used for non-repeating roots. But here roots are repeated twice, our yc in this case will be e raised to alpha x. Instead of c1, we are going to write this part that is c1 plus c2 x. Because the roots are repeated, therefore we need to multiply one constant by x and this cos of beta x plus here c2 will be replaced by c3 plus c4x into sin of beta x. Okay, so our yc will now become alpha is 0, so e raised to 0x is nothing but 1 and here we have used c1, c2, so here we are going to use c3 plus c4x into cos of beta is 1. So x plus c3 c4 then c5 plus c6 x into sine of beta x. So beta is 1. So our total yc will become c1 plus c2 x into e raised to x plus c3 plus c4 x into cos of x plus c5 plus c6 x into sine of 